Joining us now, Louisiana Congressman and House Minority Whip Steve Scalise. Congressman, welcome to the show. So, you know, I listened to that, and it seems like a no-brainer to me that everyone, regardless of your political ideology, would want testing for senators, for members of the House, for staffing, for staffers, for everyone who comes into contact with people in the Capitol. Why is what's the holdup here? Right, and good morning. Good to be with you, uh, Congressman Davis. Is exactly correct. I mean, these protocols have been out there, and the testing capabilities have been out there for a long time. They were offered to the speaker, and she turned it down. And and I think it's it's something that should have been in Congress uh, for a, a few weeks now. But you know, ultimately, that's what mm -hmm. the speaker decided to do. Yeah, and the question is, if she turned it down, is there somewhere else to go to get this confirmed? I mean, if her office is not replying to calls, this seems like a necessity, particularly with the news front and center now of the president's positive test result, um, shining yeah. a light on this even more. I, I want to get to the SCOTUS nomination, though, because the, the GOP is vowing to press on with that nomination. Some Democrats have pushed back. Uh, one of the concerns that has been expressed, I, I was reading a, a good article in National Review this morning, is Senator Mike Lee, who has tested positive and was at a judicial Judiciary Committee meeting just a few days ago. I believe it was on Thursday, and there's concern about some contact he may have had with other senators. Is this a concern of yours, and how do you see this playing out? Well, first of all, there are hearings going on in Congress every day. We had one yesterday in a select committee that I'm on. Some members were there in person. Some members met virtually. Uh, those capabilities have been in place throughout this whole pandemic. Uh, you know, one, one of the things you've got to watch is that as you see Democrats going to selected states, trying to change state laws, not in their legislature, but in their courts, they are trying to push this election into the courts. And if that's the case, then do you really want a 4-4 Supreme Court? That's why it's so important uh, that as we approach this election, if the Democrats continue to push more election decisions into the courts, uh, then that means you need to have uh, courts that are capable of, of handling cases. You don't want a Supreme Court that could be div divided uh, in an election like this that's so important. Yeah, well, Congressman, it remains to be seen how this will unfold. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. But thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good to be with you.